You began your career as a volunteer firefighter. Why did you want to be a firefighter? Um, when I got out of high school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, and I wanted to do a lot of different things, but uh, one of the things that um, folks, my, my father had done this when he was my age, had been the service community, and so I was asked to join the volunteer fire department, and I, so I joined it not thinking I wanted to be a firefighter, I just wanted to help my community. And I went to EMT school and became a paramedic and found that I really like helping people. And so uh, I really just started out wanting to help people and found that it was something I liked doing. It gave me a chance to serve the community and I ended up here. So what has surprised you? What have you learned as director of FEMA? Um, that there's a lot of disasters. You know, I came from Florida and so my first big disaster at FEMA occurred in American Samoa. And American Samoa is an American territory. It's in the Southern Pacific. It's about 2,400 miles from Hawaii. So if you think Hawaii's a ways, it's even further away. It's almost in another, t it's almost, you know, when you look at the distances involved, um, when it's daylight, it's dark there. It's so far over towards the, um, the International Dateline. And I think the thing that surprised me was that our response to America Samoa was no different than our response to my home state of Florida. And that disasters can occur all the way from Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, across all the continental United States, as far north as Alaska, Hawaii, American Samoa, Guam, and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. So we have a tremendous area that we have to respond to. And day and night, there are earthquakes, there's power outages, there's winter storms, there's droughts, there's wildfires, there's hurricanes, there's typhoons. It's just how many different disasters can happen over such large geographical areas and that FEMA is responsible on behalf of the President, the Secretary of Homeland Security, for coordinating our federal response to governors across all those disasters when they ask for help. What is the most important thing you want kids to know about FEMA? That FEMA is part of the team, but you're part of the team. When a disaster happens, the better prepared you and your family are means that we can go to those that are worse off and need more help. And that we can only do our job if you get ready. So our job is to be ready to support when disasters are bad. We need your help. Go to ready.gov, pester your parents, make sure you got a family plan, make sure you got supplies and you know what to do. And hopefully, it's like an insurance policy. You never have to use it. But if disaster happens, you know what to do, your family knows what to do, and then we can help other folks who didn't have a situation where maybe they didn't get ready or more importantly maybe they need more help and you've actually done your job by being ready we can help those that need us need us more and we can focus on the most vulnerable and the areas the community got hit the hardest